Hey everyone, Taylor Netzler with Robert Lewis Associates, proudly representing Harmon Professional. And today I'm with the great staff at Northern Sound and Light here to show you the Soundcraft UI24 mixing console recording interface. So let's start with the front here. You've got 20 jacks, 10 of which are combo, 8 auxiliaries, you have left and right, which have XLR output and quarter inch, RCA inputs. You have two USB ports in the front for a USB thumb drive or a flash drive. Um, and then you can also, you have a B-type connector here to connect, to use this as an audio interface. Connect it to your computer, use it uh, with Pro Tools, Logic, whatever your DAW of choice is. So, on the side, we also have two Ethernet ports, an HDMI output, two more USB, a reset button, and a foot switch. Now, the foot switch can be used to switch patches. You can um, control the effects with that. You can set tap tempo. There's a bunch of different functions that you can change in the interface here. So connectivity-wise, you can have up to 10 devices connected at a time with this. The beauty of that is that you don't need an app. So whether you're using a iPhone, Android phone, Linux computer, uh, Blackberry, anything you've got, you don't need to worry about keeping anything updated. Uh, it's all HTML5 based. So the simplest way to connect to it is to use the internal hotspot. Now, there's one antenna on the front and an antenna on the side. So you set it to run on either a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz network. I typically like to use it with a 5 gigahertz network because there's a lot less congestion, uh, especially when you get into a more crowded space. Um, you're less likely to run into any kind of problems there. It's always best to use a Wi-Fi scanner when you're setting it up as well, just to determine the channel is going to have the least interference. Um, that being said, this is a major improvement over the UI 12 and 16. The internet connection is a lot more stable in this. I've had zero dropouts anytime that I've used this on a gig. So using the Ethernet port here, you can also connect this to an external router, hardwired into your computer, or using the hotspot again, you can wirelessly connect this to another router. It's so very, very flexible. Um, the HDMI port allows you to send the same thing that you would see on your iPad screen or whatever you, device you have connected directly to a monitor. So with the USB ports, you can use a touchscreen monitor, send the USB and HDMI out to that, or to send the HDMI out to a monitor and plug in a keyboard and mouse, and you can use your keyboard shortcuts, and your mouse will show up on the screen as well. So we've got elements of the whole Harman family of products in this, in this mixer here. Uh, the preamps are designed by Studer. So they're extremely high quality, low noise, nice warm preamps. Uh, DBX, uh, we have the DBX 31 band graphic EQs in here on every single output. Parametric EQs on every single in. DBX compression on every in and out and the AFS2 feedback suppression from the Drive Rack series on every output as well. Really great, saved me a lot of times in my gigs from uh, you know, unexpected feedback. Something jumps up and it quickly creates a notch in there. You don't have to worry about it. It's just peace of mind at your gigs. You have four channels of lexicon effects. Now those effects can be either chorus, delay, or reverb. And you can switch the different types of whether you want kind of a more analog warm delay or a slapback. Um, really thick chorus, then uh, there, there's multiple parameters of every one of those effects that you can control. As a guitar player, one of my favorite things about this is the fact that you have two channels of Digitech amp modeling. So I run into situations where I'm playing and I have a friend come up and say, hey, can I play? Can I plug in? I want to I wanna jam. And it's, it's as easy as plugging your guitar right in here. Uh, you want to set the high Z impedance to properly load down your guitar pickups and you can call up a Fender, Vox, Marshall, whatever your uh, classic amp of choice is. Um, you also have noise gates, input delays, output delays, and the patching is extremely flexible on here. You can, when you're, if you're using this connected to your computer, one of the beautiful things is if you want to run live plugins, you can do that. You can send this out to your computer, send it right back in, running auto-tune, any other amp simulators, any kind of uh, effects you might, you might use. Uh, there's three different ways that you can record. 
So this, the most simple way you can record on this unit is to plug a USB stick in the front here and just record your two track master output. Simple as that, just hit record. It records anything that's going out through your left and right, right here. You can connect it to your computer and at that point it's a 32 in, 32 out interface. Uh, use it with Logic, Reaper, Pro Tools, Cubase, whatever your DAW of choice is. Um, my favorite part about this is the fact that you can use a USB stick and record multi-track audio to it. So you pull up on your interface here the multi-track setting, select which tracks you want to record, hit record, it'll automatically make a folder and it'll label your channels with the names that you've designated on here and then you can in turn play them back through the mixer when you're done recording and record that right to your two-track master essentially making this a DAW in a box as well. So there's just so many different options really really great piece. All in all Soundcraft knocked it out of the park with this one. For any additional questions and pricing please contact your Northern Sound and Light sales representative and again I am Taylor Netzler with Robert Lewis Associates representing Harmon Professional Thank you for watching and have a great day.